when we think about labs and dermatomyositis, probably the, the single biggest one we think about, so there's, there's sort of two ways we think about that. One would be the markers of muscle breakdown. So CK, um, aldolase, and LDH are the ones you'll see your doctor check a lot. CK in particular is the number one that you'll see us check kind of all the time. Um, and there we're looking for, is there any evidence of muscle breakdown or inflammation in the blood? The other big bucket you'll see us look at is the labs that are associated with autoimmune disease. So as time has gone on and we understand more and more about different types of dermatomyositis and how it can look different, a lot of that depends on the autoantibodies that are present in the blood. And so you'll often see some variation of something called a myomarker panel. Um, that when it's positive and we see autoantibodies there, does help us understand what type of symptoms you're likely to see, how the disease will manifest in you. Again, it's not 100% definitive, but it does give us an understanding of how the disease is likely to evolve in you over time, what to look out for in terms of other manifestations.